Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to assert deep equality with deep equality and not deep equality. Um, we want to use, yeah, so basically we're just going to do that. Uh, once again, I'm just doing this on this old, uh, or on this existing REPL.IT. If you don't have this existing, go back and watch uh, past episodes. So we're on this uh, one underscore test, uh, unit test.js. And if you go to line 65, you'll see that they have deep equal asserts that two objects are deep equal. Wow. Okay, so assert.fail. Obviously, what, would they, what they're wanting us to do is in these tests, uh, in these test functions, what we want to do is change fail to either deep equal or not deep equal. And so is A equal to 1 and B equal to 5? B is 5 and A is equal to 1. Keys order doesn't matter. So... They're giving you kind of a hint here. This is the error message that comes out if it doesn't work. So let's just run this real quick and see what happens when we run the tests without having them uh, work. So if we uh, scroll down, I'm scrolling up now to see here, our deep equals are not passing, which is not surprising because we haven't done anything there. But um, yeah, so now I'm just looking for the error message. Where did we come up short? for deep equal. Assertion keys. Key order doesn't matter. So here the key order doesn't matter. This is the, the third parameter being passed in to this assertion fail. And we see here at test under uh, forward slash one unit JS six line 68. This is the 68. This is the one that's uh, failing. It's pretty obvious that it's failing because it just says assert dot fail. That's just going to fail every single time. So what we want to do is create a, a deep equal. So I'm not sure. Are these two functions deeply equal? I'm just going to run. I'm going to stop the server over here. I'm going to press Command C. And I'm going to go Node. And then, so if we add these two objects together, I mean, if we go triple equals, I'm they're they're false. But it says key doesn't matter. So I'm not going to. I'm not sure. I'm going to say not uh, deep equal here, because no, I'm going to say deep e equal. Because why would they say keys key, key order doesn't matter here? Um, I'm not exactly sure what deep equal means. Um, so on the next one, we've got a is equal to we've got an object in which the key value the, there's one key value pair in which a is the key and the value is an array with two integers in it of five and six, and say yeah. And so I guess here they have and then we're saying is that equal to an object in which there's a key value pair in which the first key is a and the value is six and five. Well, the, we know that arrays are basically just enumerated objects. So uh, having those switched is definitely not right. So we're going to say not uh, deep equal. I mean, the difference between an array with five and six and an array with six and five is pretty dramatic. So um, yeah, I guess now what we can do, um, we can either click run using REPL.IT, but if you're using a local developer environment, you would want to quit node by pressing control C. Um, and again, you can just press run or you can, and then you can say NPM start and NPM start will restart your server. Uh, if this uh, starts up properly, this thing should turn into a, a visible interface. Um, if we click refresh, yeah, okay, cool. And so now if I scroll up through all these failing past tests, all these failing tests, um, and we come up here, we see deep equal is uh, green. And therefore, if we come back over here, we can take our URL and paste it into here. Cool. And so I'm sure deep equal has some more uh, deep understanding about how, how, how to understand this stuff. But uh, for now, I think that that's good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.